Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a collective reading here. This is the Wheat in 5D Tarot Rumble Sister channel. This is not the main channel. I do not really support YouTube and its habits with its censorship and its perverse monetization. So um, I don't do that here. Um, so the real channel is Rumble. You'll get full in-depth readings. I don't, they're free. I don't charge for them. I don't do that Vimeo nonsense. I mean, listen, people have to do what they feel they have to do and God bless them and that's fine. I do have a strong opinion on it, but they can do what they wanna do. I think titles that are a bit flashy and clickbait um, are tacky and trashy and lend to that entire uh, perverse money system, shall we say. Makes people desperate for money. Not that you don't deserve abundance. You absolutely do. I make a full living doing exactly what you see here, and it ain't through YouTube. Anyway, however, the point of this sister channel, you would think, why, well, why do you have this channel then? It is to bring traffic to the other channel. For those who resonate and those who don't resonate, well, they can do what they want as well. So let's go ahead and do this new love check-in for the collective. Um, I have my coffee here. I'm almost always sipping something while I do tarot, almost always. So I'm just doing some pre-shuffling for you. And we're gonna do this new love check-in for the collective. And it's for the, um, the rest of June. Let's see what's going on for the rest of June. Although these energies, you know, time is fluid and these energies can last even up to 30 days. So mid-June to mid-July. I'm getting the signal to stop pre-shuffling. So I'm going to get into my routine here. My sort of traditional routine that I always do which I pretty much follow to the T unless I'm given specific instructions by my guides to do something different. What spread do you want me to do? New love check-in for the collective. Seven overhand shuffles. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm just checking in to see what spread they, they want me to do. I'm hearing a Celtic cross. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross. Kind of wanted to dive into some past, present, future as well. Let's just go ahead and do the Celtic cross, and but I'm going to throw in a little bit of past, present, future as well. Okay, so I'm going to use a different deck for that. First card out for your Celtic cross is the judgment card, okay? So you're in a space of making a decision, making an important decision. Um, you might make, be making a judgment call or being discerning about a situation. Crossing that, we have the Six of Cups. Wow. So you guys are making a, a judgment call about something on the past. I'm already, I already know where this reading is going. In order for new love to come in, you're going to have to make a judgment on the past, which means basically putting the past to rest. And that's nothing new is going to come in that's good, or maybe nothing new at all. Um, but nothing new is going to come in that's good if, 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 if the past isn't, the cycle isn't closed out, guys. All right, let's see where this goes. It kind of feels uncomfortable in a way. It's like, do I really have to do this? You know, but anyway, um, foundation. What's the reason we're even having this reading at all? As of now, where is my potential destiny headed? That's where the, what the foundation speaks of. It is the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are, you may be staying single for a little while, guys. Um, I, I hate to say, um, <laughs> this is one of those 
situations where you almost want to abandon the reading, like, screw that. Um, I mean, the good thing about this is this is a person who knows how to take care of themselves, who practices self-love, and um, who is a high vibrational, healthy, single person that can attract in another high vibrational, healthy, single person. So remember, remember I said, unless we close the chapter on the past, um, nothing good is going to come in, if anything at all. Well, in this energy, only good things can come in. Only another nine of pentacles can come in. So it's not bad, but it, it may, it may indicate a slight delay. But then again, we still have to do near future and outcome energy. So let's check that out. Uh, but so far, this feels, I was going to say accurate, but I can't really say that because only you can say that for you. Obviously, it's a collective reading. It's not going to be meant for everyone. So I won't say accurate, but I'll say it. this lineup makes sense so far. Past energy is the seven of pentacles. You have been waiting. I feel like you've been waiting to close out the old chapter to tell you the truth. There may be some cooperative components that you're waiting for to happen um, they're just telling me you don't need to do past, present, future. It's right here. That's the past. The present is the judgment call. We're going to see what the future is. <laughs> Duh. That's why it's, they're, they're like, yeah, you don't really need to do a past, present, future. Why would you do it? It's here in the Celtic cross. Um, I feel like you've been waiting to close this out. I feel like you've been waiting on numerous levels. Some of you have been waiting to try to make it work with this person from the past and the things aren't panning out. So I feel like you're at the point of let's be done with it then. Okay, crowning the spread, we have the chariot, okay? Some of you may be cancers watching. Some of you may uh, be may be dealing with a cancer. Some of you also may be Scorpios. I'm getting water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or earth sign so far, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So it may be some kind of combination of that. But you, what's great about this though, guys, you're ready to move forward, okay? You're ready to move forward. It's gonna be a little bit of an inside joke, but I know some of you like my coffee mug there. Not everyone's going to know what that means. It's a little bit of a fringe club here. Um, okay, so near future, page of wands. So we do have a um, enthusiastic, passionate message coming in from somebody. We'll try to see who that is. Can it be someone from the past? It could be. It might be good so you can close out that chapter. But this could also be something new someone new um and if it is it should be a high vibrational match that you're meeting because it seems that that's where you're headed i feel like you're doing a lot of cleanup in your life watch the um i'll leave it in the description below the um new moon in gemini that we just had new moon in gemini and solar eclipse reading. Okay, how are you seeing yourself right now? Queen of Cups. Some of you may have had your heart chakra closed for a little while and it's starting to open back up. More water energy here, by the way. Uh, so some of you could be water signs. Um, and with the chariot, I'm just getting, you know what? I'm ready for new love. I'm ready to put the past behind me because it just hasn't been serving me as much as I may love this person as nostalgic as I may feel about them. It's time to move forward, AKA chariot energy. What surrounds you at this time? What's in your environment? What's in your vicinity? Uh, could represent another person. Four of pentacles. Uh, four of pentacles is a little bit of an elusive um, energy for me um, because it could just, it could mean various things. Um, Someone may be clinging on to you and yet not providing what it is that it takes 
to be in a healthy relation, but at the same time, they're clinging on to you. And if you allow them, you, 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 if you allow them to, you may be feeling like you are kept hostage. Um, I remember using that term in, in a personal situation. I felt the same way that this person's keeping, that's an illusion. You let people keep you hostage. And I was speaking to a friend yesterday that felt someone was keeping them hostage. And I get it. I get it. I was there. I may have my days where sometimes I feel like it, it's there, but I remind myself that's an illusion. And I am, I am holding myself back by allowing that, that kind of thinking. Um, Page of Swords is in the hopes and fears. You do want to have communication with this person of some sort. You want to communicate with somebody. Okay. I'm assuming it's this person from the past so you can close it all out or fix it if need be. But I don't know that you even know that you can fix it. Like you probably, you know, well, we're going to get clarification. Outcome is the lovers. Okay. So good news. <laughs> I think. Um, uh, there is a soulmate connection here. I just, what's at the bottom of the deck? King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So we do have the King and Queen of Cups. There is a match here, guys. There, There is a match here waiting for you, but this match may be waiting for you to close things out, may be waiting for you to close a cycle out, okay? I'm going to take a different deck and we're going to do clarification. Wow, I just saw... Wow, I just saw Temperance, Six of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay, Six of Cups again. This person from the past or someone you know very well. Um, Six of Cups can be soulmate energy, someone you've done various past lives with. Um, and the connection is trying to heal with the Temperance card there. Uh, someone, if not both, is suffering from a broken heart. But I do feel that there is something new that wants to come in. But I feel it's going to struggle coming in until you put the past to rest. You will, whatever put the past to rest means. Can you make it work with this person from the past? I don't know. I don't feel that they're... If the Four of Pentacles is representing them, then no, they're not ready. Um, and, 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 and you'd be foolish to, you'd be foolish to try to stick around to make, to, 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 to wait for them to be ready. That's not going to work for most people. Okay. Um, let's see. I just saw judgment again. Let's see where the clarifiers take us. There is a connection here. Someone is trying, see some of you, shoot, some of you may be, um, like, you know, dealing with a very, uh, past life heavy soulmate but at, in the meanwhile you need to like put that to bed because a wonderful soulmate matching soulmate is trying to reach you okay i really should put it like this facing each other because here on the table that's what it looks like them facing each other um which is a good sign obviously let me have a sip of my coffee guys Okay, they're just saying start the shuffle. You're my main shuffle. I don't need to. I don't need to pre-shuffle anymore. Um, let's see. I want to see what this page of wands is. Um, if it's someone new. Seven overhand shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We did have a card that flew out. It's the Queen of Pentacles. This is clarifying judgment. The stability that you're looking for, if you're trying to be someone's hubby or wifey, with this person from the past, that's what you're making a judgment call on. Talk to me about the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands. 
So we have two queens here. I hate to say that um, there could be someone else involved with this person from the past. I almost feel like you might know that. Okay. Um, I almost feel like you might know that. If that's the case, if you know it, then this, then that, that part is meant for you. There could be a third party situation, but it, may not represent another person. Third party situation could also be parents, just saying. Let's put it this way. There's some, there, there, um, there may be something in the way. Let's just put it that way, okay? Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Sword of Truth, the Ace of Swords. Um, you guys know you're not stupid. If there's someone else in the mix, you know about it, okay? You know about it. I may have to get double clarification later on the Queen of Wands. Uh, Let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles in the past is clarified by the Death card. Yeah, you know this needs to end. You know this needs to end. Um, you know that you need this needs to end, and you need to transform. Death and rebirth. Uh, is the death and rebirth for the connection for the old connection? Not necessarily. I mean, they may transform too in their own way on their own path. Um, in theory, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven years from now, could your paths cross again where you're both healthy or good people? It's possible, but I mean, I'm going to assume you ain't going to wait that long. You're going to be kind of taken by then, right? Most likely. Um, but hey, but also anything's possible. We never know how these things in life are going to turn out at the end of the day. There's someone, something is involved here. I just... It is third party in terms of another person for some of you, but for others of you, it's not necessarily another person. But again, I need to double check on that, okay? Because there's something about it that doesn't feel uh, totally right. Some of you may be worrying that there is someone else and it may be just, it actually may be just a worry page with the page of swords here and your hopes and fears you're trying to figure out if there's someone in the mix they're not they may not necessarily be someone in the mix you may be just afraid there's someone in the mix okay um uh a chariot is uh, is crowning the spread and that's clarified by the uh knight of pentacles okay so your movement forward your personal victory your success um, it is in progress. Some of you may be feeling that it's taking too long. Um, hence, maybe some of you didn't like seeing the Nine of Pentacles there in the foundation. This is taking too long. How long am I going to be single? Like, I'm, I feel like I'm ready. What is, uh, what is the Page of Wands in the near future? The Five of Pentacles. Wow. Let me just go ahead and take out the cards before I even further try to contemplate this and read the energies. Your energy is the Queen of Cups. Um, clarifying that is the Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of Pentacles now. Uh, the Hopes and Fears Page of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands. And the lovers, as the outcome is clarified by the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. That's clarifying the King of Cups at the bottom of the other deck. Okay? I'll show it to you really quick. 
Okay. There is a message coming in. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I'm seeing the lovers with the Knight of Cups. I'm seeing the lovers behind that and the world card behind that. Closing out the cycle with this person from the past is what it looks like. Um, you're willing to... Um, shoot. I think you're willing to maintain some, maintain some sort of friendship with this person from the past. But you do want to close out the cycle of, of, of romance. Okay? Someone is trying to reach you here. There's no question about that. I'm just trying to figure out, is it... Because I feel like you have two people in the mix. Um, a new person and a person from the past. And you're trying... You're almost juggling them both. Okay? Or you will be. Because I think for a lot of you, this new person hasn't quite stepped in yet. Okay? I'm going to need more clarification. Obviously... First, tell me about this Queen of Wands with the Six of Cups, please. Oh, I think I got it. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay. All right. Tell me more, please, about the too many cards. Too many cards. Well, yeah. To be honest with you, I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. Um... Because it's making sense. And I'm going to tell you what I got here. I got the Fool. We got repeat cards in here. I got the Fool, the Chariot, the Judgment card again, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords. I'm sorry, the King of Wands, which is matching with this Queen of Wands. To tell you the truth... You're making a judgment call, guys. On whether you want to be this queen of pentacles wifey or hubby with this person from the past who's not able to honor that. Or moving on to being the queen of wands. So from the queen of pentacles to the queen of... So the queen of wands is is you. That's why I couldn't figure it out. It doesn't feel right. And you're thinking, you're, and that's the Queen of Wands is your energy saying, you know what? I'm done with this nonsense from the past that has not served me. So it's actually you. And this is, I got that before even these cards. But when these cards fell out, I realized this is clarifying where my psyche is taking me. And we have two matches here. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I don't feel it's two different couples. I actually feel that it's the same couple. And I think it's new. Because you made the judgment call to go for new. Because what was in the past is simply not serving you. New Ace of Cups. New Fool. Moving forward from the old chariot. Okay, wow. Okay. Okay, so no wonder why they fell. When there were too many cards like that, I just kind of become overwhelmed. and like, oh, I don't want to take all those. Give me something simpler. But now I see why they're giving me all those cards. I get it. <clears throat> I get it. Okay. So let's move on to the Five of Pentacles. In the near future, the Page of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Three shuffles will be enough. One, two, three. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. This, I think it's the person from the past. It looks like you're going to be rejecting them. Uh, or they're going to take it as a rejection. I think you want to tell them, I just 
would like to be friends. I care for you deeply. I just want to be friends. Um, because you see it as balance. You see it as equal give and take. Okay. You see it as balance. Um, I have nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So that's the second time we're seeing nine of pentacles. So you want to be, um, separate from them. You want to be separate from them. Like single from them because they just can't give it to you. You don't trust them. They may want to try to give you what you say you want, but I don't think you trust them. With the three of pentacles representing you, you just want to be friends with them and you'd rather move on to something new here. Okay, let's further clarify um, what seems to be their energy once again, the four of pentacles with the eight of pentacles. Oh, they want to repair the situation. But I think you've tried to repair this situation a bazillion times already. So you're just kind of like, eh. All right. First, tell me more about the Three of Pentacles in your energy. One, two, three. The Five of Cups. You're afraid that you're going to regret. There's too much pain. World card, yes. You want to finish this. You want to close this out. There's too much pain from the past with this person. As much as you love them, they're a true soulmate. They're, 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 they're six of cups. Nostalgia. True soulmate. Just because I say soulmate doesn't mean we're supposed to be with them. That's not what a soulmate means. It actually just means that you're supposed to learn some lessons from each other. That's why you've come into each other's life. And then sometimes after you resolved the issues and what you've learned... As a byproduct, as a result, you, you you may end up with them. But it doesn't mean that you're supposed to end up with a soulmate. It's not what that means. Give me a second, guys. I'm just getting my cards together. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You just, you are offering a friendship. You are offering a friendship. But the more you deal with this person, the more you're blocking out new love. Okay. Talk to me about the eight of the four of pentacles with the eight of pentacles. It looks like they want to repair. Tell me more. Two. Three. The ten of wands. Queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to convince you that they've cleaned up their path. Or past, I mean path. Their past. Um, this is, I, I think that they are trying to do this. And when you speak to them soon, they may try to convince you that they're trying to, that, 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 that they've done this. Okay. I feel like you don't believe them or you feel that it's too high a risk. Maybe believing them or not believing them is not even so much an issue as much as it is. It's, this is too high a risk anymore. Okay. Talk, talk to me about, um, talk to me about the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears can double as advice as well. So the page of swords with the ace of wands. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Two. Let me just say, before I even clarify that, they may have gotten rid of uh, their issues, but they may kind of lack an emotional capacity at the same time. And I think that you don't like that. All right. There's the page of swords again. I got it. I got it. Well, let me just... See what's at the bottom of the deck, though, before I speak. Eight of Cups. Wow. Yes, there's a lack of this this person from the past. Maybe they did clean up their act, but I don't think that emotionally they are very deep. And I think that you don't really like that. I think that you, after all the work that you've put into this thing in the past, I, it looks to me like you kind of like, this person can't even give me the depth of emotion that I'm about. Maybe they did clean up their act. 
Maybe they will stop doing this, which was a problem. Maybe they'll stop doing that, which was a problem. But but emotionally, I feel they lack compatibility. It's almost as, a, as I feel like I'm speaking for you. Like that's something that you might say. So you're going to go off with the Eight of Cups and find out what does or find a person that does emotionally fulfill you. And I see with the Page of Swords, clarifying the Page of Swords, also clarified by the, uh, the Ace of Wands, you're looking for new passion, a new reason to connect, a new reason to a new reason to be excited. Okay, this person may not excite you anymore. They may have drained you. Talk to me about the lovers with the Knight of Swords. Too many cards. Too many cards. All right. I hate when too many cards come out. I don't like that. And I don't like, you know. Hmm. All right. Okay. So. Clarifying the outcome, the lovers with the Knight of Swords. I have the Page of Wands again and the Tower. I feel like this person is really, person from the past is really trying to convince you. Guys, I already knew this from the beginning of the reading. I could have shut off the reading in within a span of seven minutes. You got to close out this cycle before anything new can come in. Some of you, your energy is stuck with someone else in a way. And um, you may very well feel that they're keeping you hostage, but there may be some, some reality to that, some component to that. But ultimately, you are the creator of your own reality. It looks to me like you're going to let this person down because... There is the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck again after taking out the Page of Wands and the Tower, which is the King of Cups on the bottom of the other deck. You're choosing someone who's more a vibrational match for you. The King and Queen of Cups. You're choosing this match, someone who's more emotionally capable see because i feel this person is trying to open up emotionally they it they it they have such a difficulty doing it that person from the past guys for some of you i hate to use this term too much and if you don't believe in it all the more power to you I swear, because I wouldn't wish this journey on my worst enemy's dog. Um, but this person from the past might be a twin flame for some of you. Again, if you don't believe in them, you're like, eh, I don't believe in that crap. Good, good. This journey should be even a little easier for you, just a little bit more easier for, for you then. I support you in not believing in it. <laughs> um, because as we know in Law of Attraction, um, what you believe Law of attraction will always make it true. It's irrelevant if it's true or not true. It will be true in your reality. It will it will appear as such in your reality. Now that said, if you it's too late if you already know that this is your twin flame, but then you're trying to deny it, you can't that you can't do because you're trying to sweep the issues with the twin flame under the rug and you can't do that. You have to, it will always haunt you unless you close out the cycle properly. And that 
can be quite a challenge to do if this is a twin flame. In general, twin flame or not, I see it's a challenge to close out with this person in the past. But you are going to gear towards someone. New. There, there, There is someone new headed your way, but you've got to close out this stuff from the past. I wish I had a, a, a nicer reading. It is nice to some degree. You're closing things out with the past. But I see that it's in progress. It's a bit of a long process. Okay. This is what's telling me you are moving forward, but it's in progress and it's a bit of a slower process. Okay. You are moving forward, but it's slow is what this is telling me. Um, almost there. Like that's what I just heard. Almost there. Almost there. Soon your readings are going to going to sound different, I feel, because your readings are not going to be stuck on this person anymore. Okay, almost there. King of Cups, as I keep saying, bottom of the deck. It's going to be, what's partly difficult is as this person keeps showing up, this person from the past, they keep showing up to you. It's like you take three steps forward and then two steps back when they show up again. And it's like, it's slowing you down. Because they keep trying to, in some cases, they either keep trying to convince you. In other cases, guys, if they're not trying to convince you, but they're asking you to stick around anyway, that should really be your cue to move the hell on. Close the cycle and move the hell on. That's a case where friendship is not going to work with this person. You're not going to successfully be able to do a friendship because this person's being even more difficult. But for most of you, I actually feel they do want to repair it, but you don't want to. It's too heavy a risk. Okay, it's too heavy a risk. Anything else that you can tell me about the outcome? One, two, my left ear is ringing. Three. Four, they're saying seven, five, six, seven. Something is happening with you guys, by the way, that I'm just getting. It is like DNA upgrades. It is DNA upgrades or, or, or consciousness upgrades. Um, and this is also what's making you so strong to walk away from this. It's not bad necessarily to pick them. It's just, but they've got to be on your level. They've got to be on your vibrational level. It doesn't matter if they're a soulmate. It doesn't matter if you've had a dozen past lives with them. You may have had a dozen past lives with them because in all those past lives, you were supposed to make the choice to walk away. Boom. You know, and it's fine to choose them if they can be up to par. And so far in this reading, they're not showing to be, um, they're not really showing to be up to par. I almost feel like they're trying to convince you that they've changed and upgraded, let go of their baggage. But I feel that that's either not true or if it's true, the next thing that they have to learn to do is be emotionally available. Now, the baggage really hindered that. So now that they've, they're have they getting rid of the baggage, now it's not hindering them to learn to be emotionally available as well as receptive. However, that's another journey altogether. And I think you're just like, I'm not ready. For, I'm not doing another journey. I've already, who knows how many, how long you've been trying to get this person to be on the same page with you. I read a quote today, um, and you may feel this way. Genuine is often overlooked for beneficial. People rather choose something that's beneficial on some 3D superficial level instead of choosing genuine, vulnerable, heart and soul, genuine purity. 
Some people would rather choose beneficial over that. And this is maybe something that this person was struggling with as well. Um, okay. Nine of Wands. King of Pentacles. You know what? It's like they're offering you, they're offering you this. I have now the King and Queen of Pentacles, guys. They're offering you. Yeah, I'm just looking at what's at the bottom of the deck and I just see you not interested. I'll show you in a second what I have at the bottom of the deck here. And some other cards. Um, basically, you were waiting to be the queen of pentacles with them. The typical husband or wife. Down the road, they're offering you, hey, I'm your match. I can be your match. I can be the king of pentacles to your queen of pentacles. But you're just like, uh, it's kind of too late. It's kind of too late. You're saying, and, and also some of you feel like you're saying that just to not lose me. But I don't even believe you can. Some of you don't even believe you can, that they can live up to the queen, the king of pentacles that they're trying to be for you. Some of you don't feel that they can even live up to that. So now they're trying to offer it to you or not now, but in the future when it's the new now, they're trying to offer it to you. And you're like, ah. Eh, it's effing too late. They're trying to be that for you. And you just give them the tower. You just give them, you know, <laughs> in essence, you know, um, with the tower, it almost feels like you're crapping on their, their offer. Because whether it's true or not, their offer, I just, you just don't have the energy for it anymore is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you don't have the energy anymore is what it looks like. What else? That's it. Yeah, you're just, you're not, oh, I was going to show you what I have here. At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the lovers, the hermit, the four of, of cups, and the king of swords. You're just, four of cups is telling me you're not interested in this lover's connection anymore. You want new. You're being very logical with the king of swords. And you've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of introspection. So why... And again, then at the top of the deck, I'm seeing the three of swords and the nine of pentacles. I'd rather be single and wait for my other nine of pentacles, high vibrational single match, rather than risk any more heartache and heartbreak that I've gone through with you, Twin Flame. Um, if it's that or old past soulmate, whatever, okay? Um, some of this does feel twin flamey though, because the, the heartache, the journey, that sort, that whole sort of thing, it feels horrible. And I, I, I hate to say that that is what the twin flame journey is like. You know, I wish I had, I wish I had better for you to say about the twin flame journey. I wish, you know, supposedly it's supposed to be like so amazing and spiritual and deep. Um, and it is, but from the darkest place because those twin flames are reflecting really dirty, dark shadows that it's very difficult to deal with. And by the time you're done dealing with it, if you even succeed in dealing with it properly, you're so worn out that you don't even want that person anymore, despite feeling the, the draw. And they're starting to feel that draw again, which is why they're, they're kind of, it looks like they're kind of showing up. Um, no, they are showing up. They're gonna try to convince you of all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get some uh, clarification. I mean, not clarification, some advice. I'm going to use Dorian Virtue's messages from your angels. And let's see what they have to say on this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Wow, this is the chariot energy, basically. Mystique, okay? Mystique is saying, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Do not take no for an answer, guys. Do not, do not, do not, do not, okay? Um, this is like the chariot energy. Just keep moving forward keep moving forward, keep moving forward, period. Okay, keep moving forward. Um, let's put it this way. Unless this person from the past can give you 100% of what you need, you're just going to have to keep moving forward from them. Uh, right now, it's not showing that they can give you 100%. I do think they care about you. I do think they love you, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you've got to keep moving forward, okay? Um, that's what the advice is from Doreen Virtue's messages from your angel. Because you can't really fail. The universe is going to give you what you want, but you have to also be true to yourself, true to your vision of what you really want, because you're a, an emotional mess or emotionally attached to this person. You're going to stay with that and then be sad two weeks, three weeks, two months, four months down the road when it's like, oh, but they're not giving me what I want. So why am I in this connection? Because, you know, you're emotionally stuck on them, even though they can't give you what you want. It, 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 you got to be logical about it. It doesn't, think it doesn't make sense. And I think you are going to be logical about it. Again, King of Swords here showing itself, right? You're going to be logical about the situation and reject it. Not because you're trying to be mean, but because it's not fulfilling you. Okay, you've done enough inner work to know what fulfills you. So you're going to reject this lover situation or this twin flame situation because you have a lovely new match coming forth. You have a lovely new match coming forth. That is the King, of Queen of, King and Queen of Cups energy which, as I said, are an emotional match. And that's really what you've been looking for. Um, but are you going to stay true to your vision? Are you going to stay true to that vision? Or are you going to keep letting this person be a roadblock to you? You know, is that what you're going to do? Okay. Um That's what I have for you. Guys, if you want to do a, a personal reading with me, my email is below. Email me. I will reply with a form for you to fill out that you must fill out in order to complete the booking of your reading. Um, share, like, subscribe. Don't forget. More importantly, visit the real channel, the Rumble channel, and subscribe to that where I give in-depth readings for all the 12 signs. Um as well as other collective readings like this, okay? But anyway, wishing you guys all the best. Take care.